hello everyone and welcome back to the channel in this video tutorial i'm going to walk you step by step on how to use the buy bid exchange app okay what we are going to do here is basically how to use the mobile app so i'm going to walk you step by step on everything you need to know all right and now before you start using the mobile app it means that you already have a buy bid account if you don't have an account already you can use the link in the video description to sign up for an account and if you want to learn more about trading and investing then join my telegram group using the link in the video description all right so with that being said, once you log into your Bybit app, okay, this is what the Bybit application looks like, okay, this is what the interface of the Bybit app, right, so you can scroll down here and all of that, okay. Now, the first thing you want to do, for those of you who are always confused what your UID is, your UID is your identification number on the Bybit exchange, okay, it is unique to you, that is what Bybit knows you with all right they don't necessarily know you with your name so to be able to get the buy bid id all you need to do is to click at this profile icon at the top left okay go ahead and click on that now when i click on it it brings us to this page all right so this is your uid and this id is unique to you and you alone right now for those of you signing up with my link or using my buy bid link to sign up there are a lot of reward for you okay um, when you make a deposit, there is a reward for you. When you make your trades, your first trade and all of that, when you trade to a certain level of volume, okay, there is a reward for you. And to be able to claim all of those rewards, here on the Bybit profile page, you click on my rewards, okay, you'll be able to see the rewards, you'll see campaigns that you can participate in and get more rewards, okay. If you want to get your Bybit account verified, you use the identity verification option, right. You get your account verified. If you want to change your password, all of that, you can see every other thing. I don't need to go through it one after the other. But once you come in here to the verification option, just follow the on-screen instruction and you'll be able to get your account verified. Now, after that, when we come back to the home page, okay, this is the home page, right? And then if you want to see the overview of the market, you can click on market. If you want to trade derivative, which is features, you use this option at the middle. And then if you want to trade spot, you use this option here, okay, where it says trace. And then if you want to have access to all of your assets, this is where you do that with the other menu at the last there, right? Now, the next thing after you have verified your account, the next thing you want to do is to deposit money into the Bybit exchange. There are two ways you can actually deposit money into the Bybit exchange. The first way is to buy your crypto via the Bybit P2P marketplace. Or the second way is to deposit your crypto via another crypto wallet okay so i'll go with the first way which is to buy using the bybit p2p marketplace all right so here on the bybit home page you will see where it says buy crypto so go ahead and click on that now when you click on it automatically it brings you to the one click buy option okay so here we are on the usdt option all you just need to do now is showing in naira because i'm in nigeria in your own country to be showing your own local currency so all you need to do now is to enter the amount you want to buy okay let's say if i want to buy what 200k i can go ahead and enter that and then just click on next all right so once you click on next automatically by bid will now look at their system and you know pair you with someone who is ready to transact up to this amount of usdt all right give you the person's account details and then you go ahead and make payment to that person's account once you make payment to the person's account you just click on have paid right and you wait for the person to confirm the payment when the person confirms the payment the money will be released into your account okay so if i go ahead and do that let me just go ahead and click on next now when i click on next um the Payment recommendation here is what? Using um, bank transfer, okay? So you can now buy with NGN. So go ahead and click on buy with NGN. So we're going to actually make a bank transfer. Now Bybit gives you the summary of what you're expecting. So one USDT, we're going to buy one USDT at 750, approximately 760. And then we'll be getting this okay number of usdt so we'll pay 200k and we'll get to this number of usdt right so if i go ahead and confirm this automatically uh will be paired okay we have you can see here the pop-up here is that we have 15 minutes to make this payment after 15 minutes this will automatically be cancelled now if you make your payment and you don't click on have paid and this countdown finish finishes okay the trade will be cancelled and it means that you are going to be losing your money so 
you must always adhere to this all right so let me just um now the on-screen instruction will tell you what to do right right here okay it gives you the summary of what you are going to receive we'll click on next it tells you okay this is the person you are making the payment to all right this is the pe person you are making the payment to and then you can contact the seller using this button here and then you can click on pay now and you're done all right <laughs> all right now when we click on pay now it brings us to this page we are using the bank transfer option you can see the details we are going to be transferring the money to okay the bank account number the bank name and all of that all right and then um you see that the person have two options yeah if you want to make via the CUDA bank you go ahead if you want to make payment via the op you go ahead and do that select any of the option but this is the option that is selected for us so we'll go ahead and click um or this icon to copy the account number all right remember we are making the payment to CUDA bank okay so you go to your app and make the transfer always use your app don't use ussd um, option always use your app okay use your banking app to do this transaction all right and then the name on the account you are going to do the transaction with should be the same name you have made your you have done your verification with on the bybit exchange right so that this person don't have a reason to say it was another person who sent that money not you all right now after you made the transfer the next thing you need to do is to click on payment completed right now one thing you should know is that bybit has already locked this amount of usdt you want to buy in this case 260 something usdt that we want to buy bybit has already locked that so this person cannot have access to that usdt any longer right if there is any reason for any dispute, Pipe will continue to hold on to that um, that USDT they have locked until they settle it either in your favor or in the seller's favor. So you don't need to be afraid. The Pipe P2P trading platform is very secure. You cannot lose your money here. Okay. So once you click on payment completed, the seller will be notified. Now the seller will need to check their own details to see if the money has entered. Once the money entered, they don't have any other option than to click. I have received the money. Once they click from their end, I have received the money, Bybit will automatically release those funds into your account. All right. In this case, the funds they are releasing will be in your funding wallet. All right. So I will show you that in a moment. So that is basically how to fund your account using the Bybit P2P marketplace. Right. If you have any question, you can use the comment section. Now, if you are gaining value from the video already, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with others. OK, let's move to the next one. Now, the second way to make deposit into the Bybit exchange is via depositing from another crypto wallet. OK, so to deposit into your Bybit exchange using another crypto wallet, all you just need to do is down here where it says asset. Go ahead and click on it. Now, when you click on asset, it brings you to this page. OK, here is where you will make deposit. You can make uh, withdrawals from here. You can make transfer. OK, here on the Bybit exchange, you have different wallet. When you are using the P2P, you can, you know, all of your transaction will be stored on the funding wallet. When you want to do buying and selling of one crypto to another and all of that, your funds has to be on the spot wallet. When you are trading features, your funds has to be on the derivative wallet. When you are trading, if you have USDC and you want to trade a USDC contract, your funds needs to be on the USDC wallet. Okay. And then if I scroll down here, if you are going to be copying traders, right if you are going to be copying traders the last option here is the copy trading wallet so your funds need to be in the copy trading wallet okay so let's go over to how to deposit now if i want to deposit from another wallet into my buy bid exchange all i need to do is to click on the deposit option here once i click on the deposit option it gives you access to all of this crypto which type of crypto do you want to deposit is this usdt btc ethereum usdc any of these okay if you don't see the crypto asset you want to deposit here all you need to do is to use the search option here let's say i want to deposit core for instance i'll go ahead and click on um, the search option and then type in core okay when i type in core i'll go ahead and search for that and you can see core appearing here all right so i can now click on call copy the address and then go to my other wallet and send the money all right but in this case let's use usdt as an example so i'll go ahead and type in usdt there all right do i have usdt here in case you don't see it there you just need to type it here and then you select it 
all right so i have usdt we are selecting the first one which is the tether usdt so go ahead and select that now when we select usdt you can make payment in different network okay usdt can be in bep 20 in trs 20 in ers 20 and all of those different network it could be on the arbitrum network it could be on the polygon network all of that all right so you need to be careful when you're making your transaction so that you don't send from another network to another network if you do that you will lose your crypto all right now usdt has been selected okay what is the network that is selected here the network here is trs20 so it means that if i copy this address wherever wallet i'm going to send my crypto from i'm sending it from a trc 20 network too right now if i want to send from another network for instance i can just go ahead on the network option here click on the drop down you see that we have from the binance smart chain which is the bep 20 we have the erc 20 which is on the Terra network we have the arbitrum one we have the matic which is the polygon network we have the solana we have the avalanche we have all we have all of these different option okay to make deposit of usdt into our bybit account okay but once again if you select trc 20 make sure that whatever you are sending the money from it is equally from a trc20 network okay trc20 only charges i think a dollar or two to make any transfer you want to make all right so if i go ahead and select trc20 now it will generate the address for you so all you just need to do is to click on copy to copy the address right now when you copy the address you need to select where you want to deposit the money to do you want to deposit it to your funding wallet remember i told you there are different wallets for different purposes right so if i click on the funding wallet option here you see that we have the funding wallet, we have the spot wallet and the derivative wallet. Now, if you want to trade features with it, just make sure you select derivative. It means that as the deposit is coming in, it's coming straight to your derivative, okay? If you have it on the spot account, as it's coming in, it will come straight. So if I leave it on the funding wallet, it means that after depositing, we need to transfer it to any of the account we want to use it on, right? So at the end of the day, you copy the address. Once you copy the address, you, are, you now go to the other exchange or to the other wallet you want to and send that usdt and once you send it within a minute or two that those funds should be reflecting in your bybit account all right now in this case that we have deposited to our funding wallet if we want to transfer from the funding wallet to any other wallet this is how we do that now when i come back to the asset option again if you want to make transfer from one wallet okay maybe you made your deposit to your funding wallet or to your spot wallet and you want to transfer from one wallet to another or you bought from p2p which will be on your funding wallet so if you want to transfer from one wallet to another you go ahead and click on transfer right now once we click on transfer okay it brings us to this interface where we need to transfer either from our funding wallet to our derivative account or we can change whatever wallet we want to transfer let's say if i click on the from all right i can transfer from spot derivative from usdc and all of that so if i select funding i can now choose where i want to transfer to either from funding to spot or to derivative or to usdc derivative okay after that the next thing is to select the coin you want to transfer so just click on this arrow to select the coin that you want to transfer so in this case it's going to be usdt so you now click on the max option here to transfer all or you can type in the amount you want to transfer because you see the available usdt here so type the amount here that you want to transfer and after that go ahead and click on confirm down here and then the funds will automatically be transferred from one wallet to another all right that is how you transfer funds on the bybit exchange the next option we have on the bybit is the convert option so if you want to convert from one currency or one crypto to another you can use the convert option to um, easily achieve that if i click on the convert it brings us here okay so on the convert here we can convert btc to usdt okay we can convert any coin at all all right to any other crypto that you want if i click on the btc USDT, you see a list of all of the tokens here so any token you want to convert from one to another if i want to convert the apt token i'll select it if i'm converting it to usdt i'm going to do that now the beautiful thing about the convert option is that you are converting with zero fee okay you are converting with zero fee it's not like buying and selling in the spot market when you buy and sell in the spot market you're paying fee but here you convert at zero fee okay so you can just go ahead and click on convert just confirm down here and then your crypto asset will be convert from one 
crypto to another now when you are converting you equally be mindful of the wallet you are converting from okay so currently it means that the crypto asset we are converting should be in the funding wallet right if i want to convert from any other wallet i can select it if it is from the derivatives account i can go ahead and select from any other wallet and do that all right so basically that is how to use the bybit convert option okay now if you want to make withdrawals from the bybit exchange there are equally two ways to make your withdrawals either you are withdrawing to your bank account directly or you are withdrawing to another crypto wallet all right if you want to withdraw to your bank account directly then you need to use the bybit crypto buying option which is the p2p option so if i click on it right it brings us to the one click buy or sell so here this time around you're not buying because you are withdrawing since you are withdrawing you click on sell right so you click on sell here when you click on sell here it will ask you which of the crypto asset do you want to sell is it usdt is it btc is it ethereum is it usdc uh, um, xrp and all of this right so if it is usdt if it is usdt you want to sell you go ahead and type the amount of usdt here so let's say i want to sell 500 usdt now it says insufficient fund because i don't have funds or usdt in my funding wallet okay so any of the usdt i want to sell has to be transferred to my funding wallet all right if you don't see it here all you need to do is to click on the transfer option here then you transfer the usdt from where you have it to your funding wallet and then from here you can now sell it to your bank account now when you are selling this to your bank account um, you'll get to a point where bybit will ask you to add your account details to add your bank account details the bank account details has to be the same name with the name you verified your bybit account with okay so you go ahead and add those details and that will be added so whenever you sell crypto to your bank it will be credited to your bank account directly all right the next option to withdraw crypto from the bybit exchange is via a crypto wallet to withdraw crypto via crypto wallet on the bybit exchange all you need to do now is to go back to the asset option now when i go back to the asset option you see where it says withdraw so go ahead and click on the withdraw option now when you click on the withdraw which of the crypto asset do you want to withdraw you go ahead and select any of the asset you want to withdraw if you don't see it here use the search option here to search for the for that crypto asset now i'll go ahead and search for usdt let's say i want to withdraw usdt when i type in usdt here you see that it's showing nothing okay that is because i have this checked all right so i'm hiding every asset that has zero balance in it and because i have zero balance in my usdt that is why it is not showing up here now if i go ahead and uncheck this okay it will now bring up the usdt so i'll select usdt and when i select usdt I'm doing on-chain withdrawal, right? If it is internal transfer, it means that you are transferring from another Bybit exchange to another Bybit account. So in that case, you only need the person's UID, the person's email address, or the person's phone number that is registered on their Bybit account. That way you can transfer it without fee from one Bybit account to another. But since I'm doing the on-chain uh, withdrawal, I'll go ahead and select USDT now it will ask you for the address so you are going to your other exchange or your wallet to copy the address you paste the address here once you paste the address here the next thing is to select the network the same network address you copy from your wallet is the same network you will select here so if i click on it you have all of this network just like when we de uh, deposited okay so we select trc20 since it's cheaper all right and then we put the amount that we want to withdraw here right so your available balance will be showing you can click on this icon to transfer funds here if you don't have already you can select if you want to transfer withdraw from your spot or from your funding account okay so wherever you have your funds you'll see it reflecting your select there and after that make sure that the address is correct go ahead and click on withdraw and then but you will now go through the two-factor authenticator option if you set that up okay baby will send a notification to your email they will send you um a, a notification to a code to your phone and all of that then once you confirm it click on, on withdraw and you are done okay your crypto within the next two or three minutes should be reflecting in the wallet you are withdrawing it to now aside trading features trading spot using the convert option using the p2p option bybit equally have other products that they offer okay for instance the bybit launch pad the launch pool the trading board they equally have um you know 
the the lending option and all of that which they offer on the bybit exchange so to assess the bybit product or that product okay you will see the shortcut on the home page here now anyone you don't see here you can click on the more button to assess that for instance if you want, go, want to use the bybit end option where you save your crypto and earn interest in it once you click on the more option you scroll down here to where it says end okay you see bybit end you see bybit savings you see the liquidity mining the dual asset okay the ethereum 2.0 and then the launch pool all of these are passive ways of earning money on the bybit exchange all right now if you want to use the crypto robot the copy trading and all of that you will see that on the option that says trade right on the trade option you see copy trading okay you can see the dca trading board you can see the trading boards here you can take advantage of all of this option and make use of the buy bid exchange okay if you want to make use of the lending option this is the buy bid lending option if you are going to be using the buy bid lending option all you just need to do is to click on it all right so once i click on the lending option it brings you to this page and you can see all of the available crypto that you can particip participate in okay and then you see the percentage return you see the term which is flexible all you just need to do is to deposit to participate in that if it is the sui you can go ahead and deposit all of this token and participate in the buy bid lending option and start making some passive income for yourself all right other products that you can explore are all are down here if you want to go into buy bid crypto um, loans you can equally do that and all of these other options right we'll take our time and be making videos specifically for all of this product but this is where you assess all the other options that bybit do offer now if you are going to be trading features you just click on the derivatives option and that will take you to the features trading interface now on the future trading interface we have the bybit chart option and then we have the trade option so if you want to do your charting just like you see that i have um you know my rsi indicator here okay I have uh, the Bollinger Bands indicator and all of this, okay? You can do all of your charting here. Look at, you know, when the market is at a level where you want to sell or at a level where you want to buy and all of that, right? Now, when you want to trade, you can either click on the long or short option here to take you to the trade option, or you can click on the trade at the top here to take you to the trade option. Whichever way, it will still take you there, okay? If I say short, it brings me to the trading interface, okay? Which is here, right? So this is where you open a long, you select your leverage, right? You can select the token you want to trade here, select your leverage, okay? And after that, you select whether you want to long or short, you open long, you open short. This is where you use to set your take profit and all of that. This is your other book, okay? For people, activities that are going on, trading activities that are going on. When you open a position, all of them will be showing down here, okay? When you see position, it will be showing down here. For an active position, you see them here. For pending orders, you see them here. All right, so this is that is all with the Bybit trading option. We have in-depth tutorial that teaches you how to use all of this. But this is an overview of how to use the Bybit app. Now, when you want to trade spot, the next thing you want to do is to click on the trade option. So once you click on the trade option, it brings you to the spot trading interface. On the spot, we equally have the charting option and then the trade option. Okay, so if I go to the chart, we can see the token here, do a lot charting here, go back to the trade option, and then use the buy and sell option to buy any crypto of our, our, our choice okay and sell the same way all right we have in-depth tutorial on how to do buy bit spot trading okay so you want to make sure you see those tutorials yourself so basically that is everything i needed to explain to you about the buy bit app now if there is anything you are still stuck with that you don't understand okay you can just leave a comment using um, the comment section and i'll be able to attend to all of your questions if you want to contact buy bit via um, you know their support you can just click on this icon at the top here the phones uh, or headphone I I icon option to contact the support right for notifications you see all of them here you this option is a qr code scanner okay that you can use to scan to log into your account on the desktop or on the web and all of that right so that is everything you need to know about the bybit app if there is anything you are confused with just let me know in the comment section and i'll see how best i will you know be able to help you on that all right i hope this video is helpful if it is give it a thumbs up once again if you are new to the channel consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published on the channel and um if you don't have a bybit account already use the link in the video description to download the bybit app now i'll see you in the next video